All right, guys, out here, track workout. Uh, two weeks post half marathon, uh, 13.1 miles. Um, did that marathon, half marathon, at a body weight of about 275. It's too heavy, guys. That is way too heavy. My cardio endurance is there, but the weight with all the, on the joints and ligaments and just the ultimate strain on your body, it's just too heavy. So, uh, spring into summer goals are to get Vegas, summer Vegas pool ready, Hawaii beach ready. And it's not because uh, you want the body to, or I'll speak for myself, it's not because I want the body to impress nobody or nothing like that. It's just a uh, self-confidence thing where you're not, you know, uh, self-conscious about the way your body looks, uh, even though in reality nobody gives a shit. Uh, but it's a self-conscious confidence thing, right? And if that's what it's going to take to get you motivated, um, don't don't uh, rely on the scale because everybody's body's different. Everybody's going to come in at different weights, muscle mass, uh, bone density, all plays a key role into weight that the scale shows. So I always say go by pictures. Um, Never judge by yourself by looking at yourself in the mirror because you see yourself every single day and it's not an accurate gauge of your actual body composition. So take pictures, you know, a front profile, side profile, back profile. Uh, and don't take one every week because then you just get frustrated because you don't see positive change. I would say every other week up to maybe three weeks. Um, and remember, weight loss doesn't take effect out here on the track. It doesn't take effect in the gym. Um, it it uh, takes place in the kitchen, right? That food that you are eating, consuming every day. Um, preparation is key to success. Uh, get yourself uh, food meal prep ready. Um, there's tons of information on the internet for you to go by, um, some good, some bad. Uh, so trial and error, do what, you know, do a week's worth. And if it isn't working for you, if you're not feeling satisfied by the meals and it's going to cause you to cheat, uh, then change it up, change it up. Um, my fitness pal, right? I think it's like 20 bucks a month now. Um, this is kind of ridiculous, but uh, it is a good way to track your macros, uh, see how much you're eating. Um, if you have the, the ability to hire a reputable uh, nutrition coach, um, I would suggest that. Uh, don't just hire anybody, not your local guy at the gym who, who just uh, claims he knows nutrition, but somebody who's not going to kill you who's going to do a cookie cutter uh diet plan for you that he he got himself off the internet where he's cutting your initial intakes uh down to like a thousand calories a month with no explanation where you just end up uh, uh not in a good place so um yeah start this journey Let's go. It's 2023. It is March. Um, so we are right there on spring. Today was time change. So we went an uh, hour forward, uh, spring forward an hour, which I still don't get it. I thought they passed the, uh, the reversal of that, but I guess we're still doing it. Uh, causes a lot of people mental anguish when <laughs> you lose an hour of sleep takes most people about a week to recover from that loss of an hour. So, um, I'll say my comments about government and how they do things, but yeah, let's go start this journey. Proud of you.